Welcome everyone to this episode of Jim and Java. I'm Jim Dempsey, your host. Well, welcome to another episode of Jim and Java. I'm so excited to have you here with us once again this week. We've got some good questions, as we always do, and I'm always excited to help answer your fundraising questions. If you've got questions, either after watching this or just general questions you'd like me to answer, please reach out at Twitter at DevFStrats and use the hashtag Jim and Java. If you've got questions that are a little lengthy and you'd like to submit them to me personally, you can do so at developmenteffectivenessm at gmail.com. Dot com and you can always follow me on Instagram at Dev Effectiveness Strategies and be sure to subscribe to this channel as we are an ever-growing group and community of individuals striving to increase income and get fully funded. So let's dive right into our first question this week. Our first question this week is from Mary in Alexandria, Virginia and Mary asks, do you recommend going to corporations for funding? Mary, thanks so much for that question. I appreciate that. I always have believed over the years that it's important, just like you would diversify your portfolio invest of investments, that it's also important to diversify the sources and revenue streams that you have with regard to your giving as well, too. I believe that it's important to reach out to individuals. I believe that it's important to reach out to churches or other community organizations. And I do believe it's important to reach out to corporations. Now, in saying that, it all depends on how much time you're willing and that you really should invest in a relationship with one of those sources. Now, individuals, in my mind, are the most important revenue source that you should focus in on. Individuals are going to go much deeper in their relationship with you. They're going to care more about you in the long haul, and they will be with you for the long haul. Individuals have been a mainstream, a part of the organizations that I have worked with over the years. And as I've raised my own personal funding, I've also relied a lot on individuals. I have been involved in nonprofit work for 37 years, and I have really seen just the impact that individuals will make. I've got some individuals who have been helping every month for 37 years. That is astounding and almost unbelievable to wrap your mind around and that has really really skewed my feelings on who you spend the most amount of time and attention on I've also had some churches help me over 37 years I've also had some community organizations give gifts from time to time and I've also had a few corporations give over time but in all reality, corporations, even though they are much like foundations, and we've talked about foundations in the past, they're made up of individuals. So those entities are made up of individuals. There are a lot different motivations than there are for foundations or other community organizations. Foundations, as an example, are set up specifically with a clearly defined mission and vision. And if that mission and division is that mission and vision is aligned with your organization then it's a perfect fit and in many cases you can get funded however with a corporation nowadays there are so many factors that play into who or what they give to and unfortunately because of our society and the way that our world is moving today that corporations are becoming more and more skittish about giving to anything, any organization, or even any person that is perceived to be even the smallest bit controversial. No organization, no corporation wants protesters on their doorstep or wants them on Twitter or social media talking about how bad they are because they give to XYZ organization. So they're going to be very, very skittish and will scrutinize any of the giving. Now, face value, that looks good that they're very um, discriminating in the sense that they want to give to the best organizations. But you know, you may have an organization that deals with human trafficking, as an example, or even homelessness. And there may be a corporation that just feels that human trafficking or homelessness are, is too controversial to be part of their giving. 
And one of the things I also find with organizations or corporations is that those corporations, the leadership of that, those, that corporate giving turns around a lot. So one year you may get a gift because your heart and passion resonates with a corporate leader. The next year, that leader could be gone, moved on, promoted, found another job, and you just are not in sync with where that, that corporation or even that individual is at. And yes, that could happen with individual donors, but in all likelihood, it, there's no way it's going to happen that often as it does with a corporation. So I, I honestly do not spend a lot of time trying to get corporate money. Um, do I believe that if the opportunity presents itself, if I have an individual that's in a corporation that says, oh, please apply for this grant, or I can help influence getting you a gift, I'll do that. But I won't spend a lot of my time. If I'm going to invest my time, I'm probably going to be spending about 80% invested in with individuals, 10% on churches and other community organizations, maybe even 15%, and go 5 maybe 10% at the most on corporations. So that's, I believe it really comes down to how much time do you need to, should you be spending in developing relationships with corporations and try and seek corporate money. So anyway, Mary, I hope that answered your question. That ends our broadcast for today. Thank you so much for participating, for listening. Uh, please submit your questions. Happy to respond. I respond to every question that I get. And you can reach me on Twitter at DevFStrats and use the hashtag Jim and Java. You can just respond in an email at developmenteffectivenessm at gmail.com. Make sure that if you want a, qu a quick answer to a question, just drop it below in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer uh, a quick question. I answer every comment in the comment section. And be sure to subscribe to this channel. Uh, like, give it a thumbs up on the like. Make sure that you hit the subscribe button. And also be sure to click the bell. A lot of times people forget to click that bell, but that notifies you when the next, next video comes. We, uh, I, I broadcast twice a week, and so make sure you don't miss any one of our video broadcasts. So again, it's our goal to help you increase your income and reach the goal of becoming fully funded. Thanks a lot. See you next week.